Well, hey guys, how's it going back? I meant been going back. Uh, yeah, I've been working my butt off today. Uh, but hey, I thought I'd do a Wednesday talk real quick. Um, we took the little trash truck on a maiden voyage. I think day before yesterday or yesterday, I don't know. This thing, we still got the lights hooked up. Uh, Lars LP94 and freaking Shaster Sasha took this one and I, they took him on the boat because his lights wasn't working on his truck. And the brand wire in here is screwed. But uh, hey, we took it on the test run. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. Uh, you got to remember, dude, this little thing right here is light as crap unless you got crap ton of load in it, and that's what we're going to do. It was trying to push it around a little bit, but I think we throw three or 400 pounds in the back of this thing. It'll be good. And uh, one of the things y'all guys don't even freaking know, uh, I was having problems with this, the stance on this thing, and my wife bought me some rear springs about five years ago to go on this thing. Them Taiwanese, Japanese, some kind of ease. And dude, them things are weak as crap. So uh, I still got the originals back here. I think this weekend, if it ain't running too much, we're going to throw them back up under it and get this thing right back solid. Uh, another thing we had a problem with, pulling this, this thing, was uh, the steering in this little thing. It's always been loose. I mean, it, you know, it's a half a turn to get it to do whatever. But there's supposed to be a, a dampener up under that thing. All these little 84, 85 Blazers has that problem. And uh, when I built this thing, I did not put that thing back up under there. So, you know, you're constantly fighting. You, you'll go to this side and then you'll get it straightened back up and then it'll run that side and then, oh crap, I gotta go back to this side now. I mean, it's that much movement right so i don't know it's gonna be sketchy um I, it was running 50 55 mile an hour just fine we'll see uh, i just think it needs some weight in it uh past that what's going on uh making money making money trying to get to no name nationals dude uh let me back it up here. i don't want to be in the heat yeah here we go oh and then don english the one-eyed cat I'll tow both of them down there. Dude, only <laughs> one needs to be towed. Uh, and honestly, if I had uh, spent so much money on working on one truck, I'd license it and I'd drive it down there. Uh, but there's where we're at. It, it is kind of sketchy. Uh, I mean, no crap. Um on you know asphalt stuff hey, ain't no problem but you get that thing off on gravel or in the front yard and try to hit the brakes that that truck will, that little trash truck will push you around so it'll be what it is uh this is another one for all y'all guys that we was going to meet up with on thursday dude i don't uh, just being honest I don't be running 45 mile an hour and slow everybody else down to get there 
So, screw all that. Uh, we're going to leave Wednesday. And we're going to take, you know, the back roads and stuff like that. We, we can keep it around 45, 50, maybe 55 mile an hour. And get it down there. And then maybe I can coach Shaster to Shaster into hauling it back. Because, you know, he's got a GMC half ton, whatever. That it should tow it freaking perfect. But that's what we're doing. Uh, and uh, we're still going. I've, I've noticed. Let me get this out of my system. Okay? Here, I'll set you up here. I've noticed a bunch of people that uh, can't make it. Got, uh, you know, I, I, I understand family issues, but we've got fuel issues. We don't have the money to get there. Dude, this has been a whole freaking year ago, dude. The fuel issue shouldn't be a problem. Uh, me and Lars, or LP94, whoever you want to call him, has been piddling with this little truck all year. Uh, hey, I got $20. Let's do this. I got $20. Let's do that. Uh, I got $10. Hell, let's throw it in the bank. That's $10 for gas. You know, that kind of thing. And then for all these, well, a few people, I I don't know who, I've just seen a bunch of them just kind of fall to the wayside. You've had a dang year, dude. You've had a year to uh, save money. And I know right now it's not easy, but I mean, heck, $10 a week, guys. That'll take care of your fuel. And you're out here spending seven, eight thousand dollars on the engine. That don't make any damn sense. Um, but hey, each to their own. Uh, Y'all have a good time. I'm gonna have a good time at No Name Nationals and uh, this will be one you missed. Uh, where else was I going with this? Uh, Don, the one eye cat, offered to haul that thing down there. Dude, I'm done asking people for help. I will tell you this, though. It would be nice for me to borrow a helmet. Uh, believe it or not, $80 right now is a lot of damn money. I used to make, you know, $80 was, hey, shit, let me... You know, pull the <laughs> let me pull the bill for that. We're gone. So we're still fighting with the helmet, but other than that, man, we're done. Uh, and we're going. I will. You know, it, it's one of them things. Um, you open your mouth and you say stuff. You're going to be there. You're going to the same crap we used to do in high school, or well, I used to do in high school. I'm going to race your ass. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Well, dude, uh, this is the same thing. Uh, if you say you're going to be there and people are depending on you to be there to do this certain race or that certain race, that makes you out to be pretty sorry of, I'm, 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 like I said, I'm going to chase some masses here. Uh, you will be... I, I don't get that. Uh, you want to talk about somebody... Here, we got 30 seconds. You want to talk about somebody that ain't got crap. They don't have shit. That's me. But every fucking year, dude, I have a car... And I'm there. Because uh, when I say I'm going, I'm going. And the rest of you guys, like I said, going to chafe some asses. That say you're going to do stuff, 
and don't show up, I a lot of lost respect there, dude. Anyway, there you go. Y'all have a good day, good night when you see this. Not picking on anybody, but shit, dude. This is a simple one. We'll see y'all on the next one. Everybody have a good day, good night when y'all see this and uh, watch out for the loose lug nuts. Family home is safe. We'll see you on the next one.